Hallelujah, Father. We come before your presence, Lord, with singing, with rejoicing. Even as there was great joy at your birth, we remember, Father, that you sent your only son to this world to pay the price for our sin, to give us righteousness as our new identity. Give us healing, Father. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. Glorify your name. Your name is worthy, Father, of all praise. Glorify your name. Let's rejoice in the Lord this morning. Jesus is our Prince of Peace. He's wonderful. He's Almighty God. He's our Counselor. And we've come to this season to remember His birth. At every season, we can have a joy and rejoicing in our hearts because we know one thing, our God never changes. Hallelujah. He's still the same even 2,000 years later. He's no longer in the manger. He's no longer in the grave. He's alive. And His same Spirit lives on the inside of us, which gives us a reason to celebrate. Let's begin to worship Him and praise Him. Hallelujah. And all of you joining us online, sing along as we celebrate our risen Savior, the God who He thought about us and He sent His Son Jesus into this world. And I love the scripture that talks about how for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. He was manifest to us. Everything that He you know, he came down and he gave his life for us. All that he had, he came and he gave to us and destroyed the enemy. You see, the enemy is under our feet now. The Bible says that we have authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall hurt us. So rejoice as we celebrate the risen Savior, the Son of God who lives in us. Hallelujah. Father God, we come before your presence this morning. And Lord, we're so thankful to you that you thought about us, you came down, gave your life for us, destroyed the works of the enemy, and through your resurrection, you have given us eternal life, an everlasting covenant that you made with us through your blood. When you laid down your life, you gave us healing, Father. We can declare boldly by your stripes, Jesus, that we are healed. We can boldly declare that through your covenant, we have obtained eternal life to live with you forever. Thank you, Jesus. We call you our Prince of Peace, wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting King. We worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's rejoice in him and sing this song. You are the Prince of Peace, almighty God, a song of celebration that our King lives in us. Amen. Let's rejoice.
that Jesus has set you free amen Jesus has set us free when you think about those words he set you free we were really bound as slaves in the darkness but through his blood he broke those chains and he set us free let's sing this next song as a declaration I'm so glad Jesus has set me free amen let's continue rejoicing in him Set me free I'm so 
Glorify your name. Completely liberated from the curse of the law. Hallelujah. His freedom has given us the victory over sin. Sin has no dominion over us. The scripture tells us we have victory over sin. In fact, we have authority over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall hurt us. So you don't have to think that, you know, you're, there are some things that you can overcome and others that you can't. But the word of God says that sin has no dominion. Nothing in this world ought to control you when you realize the authority you have in Christ. You have authority over your own body, the Bible says. Paul said that we ought to bring our body under subjection or lordship to the dominion of, to the authority of Christ. So when your body tries to, you know, when you get thoughts in your mind, you can rebuke it if it's a bad thought. You have authority because that's the victory you have in Christ. That's the authority that you use. We see how Jesus, he spoke to the wind and the waves using his authority. He said, peace, be still. And then when the disciples, they looked at him marveling, he looked to them and said, you can do it too. In fact, he gave them, he sent them two by two and he said, I'm giving you power over unclean spirits. So we need to use our authority over sickness, over bad thoughts, over anything that is in the darkness. You can speak to it. Command it to move. Mountains that are in front of you. Hindrances. This is the power we have in Christ. But when we were in sin and in darkness, we were bound to those things. We were chained to it. We had no way of coming out. But thank God for Jesus. He gave us authority over sin. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's continue singing about our healing that we have in Christ. One of the names of God is Jehovah Rapha, which means the Lord is our healer. So let's thank him that he came down, laid his life, took those 39 stripes for your healing. He is truly your healer. Let's sing it and thank him.
yes, you will reap in due season. The Lord has not forgotten your labor. Your labor is not in vain. Maybe you need to hear that, be reminded. Whatever you sow, you will reap. Your labor is not in vain. When you have served faithfully, you have served and sown, you will reap in due season, says the Lord. Thank you, Father. We wait upon you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, my soul. Yes, your harvest is coming. Due season always comes. As long as the earth remains, seed, time, and harvest. When you sow on good soil, you, will ex you can expect to reap a good harvest. Your labor is not in vain in the Lord. is your supplier don't look to man for that promotion look to the Lord he said promotion comes not from the east or the west the promotion comes from the Lord he sets one up and he puts another down thank you Lord thank you Jesus yes Lord you are a great rewarder. In fact, the Lord said he rewards those who diligently seek him. He has great rewards in store for you. Even what the world cannot pay you, the Lord can, he can, he'll give you rewards. Not as the world gives, but even greater riches as you have sown seed. Thank you, Father. Worship you, Lord. Your labor is not in vain. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Don't be weary in well-doing, for in due season you will reap if you faint not. You will reap, says the Lord. You will reap. But don't get weary. Don't grow tired of doing the right thing. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's say, I will not be weary in well-doing, for in due season I will reap if I faint not. My labor in the Lord is not in vain. Amen.